Oh, hi everybody. Uh, my name is Helen. I'm from Tiano Early On Child and Family Center. Today we're going to be doing our science and math experiment. It's so weird. Where is Mr. Duck? I haven't seen him anywhere. Have you seen him? Mr. Duck, where are you? Hi everybody. I'm over here, Helen. Well, hi, Mr. Duck. I'm so glad to see you. You're still welcome to join us while we're doing the experiment. I also see you're wearing glasses. I didn't see you wear glasses before. Are you trying to copy me? Well, I'm wearing my glasses because these are my science glasses and they help me think smarter. I am over here now with you because I am practicing social distancing. And I don't want you to copy off of my answers. So no peeking. Okay, Mr. Duck. Well, we will check in with you later. So everybody, we're going to start our science and math experiment. So, you are thinking, science and math, why are we doing two and one? Well, we're doing two and one because sometimes science and math go together, like this experiment today. So, let's look, let's dive in to what we need. Uh, don't worry about getting the materials because these uh, things we're going to use, you can find in your home anywhere. Okay, and if you can't, you can always substitute. You don't have to use the exact same materials that I'm using. I'm just using what I can find in my home. A cup in our experiment. Uh, make sure it's plastic, that's not breakable, and that it's uh, safe for your young kids to use. Okay, and make sure to always stay close to your children when we're doing our science and math experiment so that you can share your findings together as a family. Okay, so let's begin. You're gonna need uh, three kinds of grains. I have my macaroni, I have uh, dry rice, and red beans. You can use Tupperware container so that uh, it, you can have uh, separate your grains and also a tray, as you can see. A tray so that it won't get messy on your floor it will, um, any pouring will be inside of uh, the tray itself. For the lids, um, these ones are good for scooping, as you can see. So these lids, I actually uh, got them from uh, my perfume um, bottles, and I just take the caps off. So these are good for scooping, so you don't have to go buy them. Also plastic cups. Uh, you can have one, okay, or you can have several, it doesn't matter, but one is okay, as we're going to be scooping the grain inside uh, to, um, to measure the weight. And for weighing, I have my scale here. Now, you, if you don't have a scale, you can use a bathroom scale as well. Uh, just make sure when you turn on the scale that it starts off with a zero as you can see here, right? It's zero. Perfect. And you're gonna also need a piece of paper to, and also a pen or pencil to write down all your calculations as you're doing the experiment to compare. And you can take any kind of card. I use a Tim Hortons um, reloadable card. So this is easy when we are uh, pouring the, um, the ingredients that we can just uh, scrape over the top using a uh, card. If you have a ruler, that's fantastic. You can use a ruler as well. Hmm, I wonder which one will be heaviest? Rice, red bean, or macaroni? Wow, I love to eat rice, so I think that the cup full of rice would be the heaviest one because it makes me big and strong. It is a good time to start asking our children open-ended questions. 
Helen, what are open-ended questions? You say. Well, open-ended questions can be uh, you asking your child, "Oh, I wonder uh, which material is going to be heavier, and which material is going to be the lightest." So these questions uh, get your child thinking about you know um, what they expect to have. You can encourage your child to explain uh, why they think certain materials would be heavier than other materials. For instance, I'm going to be using macaroni, and as you can see, macaroni is pretty big compared to rice, right? Rice is really tiny. So, uh, in my theory, is that macaroni would be heavier than the rice when we start putting our materials into the cup and we measure. And we go into and, oh, it overflowed. So now you take the card or ruler and you push, scrape it. You can help your child scrape over the edges. This is just to make sure that there's nothing over the top of the cup. See? So by the time you're done scraping, there should be nothing coming out and it should be perfectly flat. Now we're going to place it onto the scale. It's 422 grams. Just pour it into the cup. Oh, here, one more. Okay, perfect. So it looks like it's all filled up. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing coming out. We can place, oh, my scale went away. Let's bring it back. Now we put it back on top. Oh, wow, 470 grams. So make sure to write down the number 470 grams. Last but not least, macaroni. So we can start pouring. I wonder which cup is going to be more heavy. Yes. Oh, there it goes. Uh, now take your card. And we are just going to... Way. Yes, we turn on the scale again and we're going to place it on top 312 grams. So make sure to write down 312 grams. Let's have a look to see uh, which material uh, turned out to be the heaviest. As you can see, red bean is the heaviest material that I my home that I measured. And what is the lightest? Oh my goodness, it is macaroni! So at the beginning, when I guessed that the macaroni is bigger than the rice, that it will be heavier than the rice, uh, I guessed wrong. But that's okay, because sometimes uh, it's not about being right or wrong, it's about finding the answer. Well, Mr. Duck, I am so sorry you guessed that rice would be the heaviest, but it turns out red bean is the heaviest. Uh, what do you think, Mr. Duck? That's okay. It's not the right answer because science is about finding the truth. Okay, everybody. So we will see you next time. In the meantime, stay curious. Sorry, I'm going to leave. Bye.